Hi everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today we're going to be doing an unboxing and overview of this Corsair Hydro Series H70 Core CPU cooler. So let's take a closer look at the box and yes we do have a brand new sealed sealed and brand new H70 Core right here so I will remove the plastic. There we go. All right, so for the H70 core, and the reason it's core is because it does not come with an included fan. Uh, the idea here is to give you the capabilities of the H70 CPU cooler, but also give you the option to use your own fan so you can choose, uh, for example, a high-end fan that has really quiet or variable RPMs and, and that sort of thing. Give you a little bit more flexibility, uh, but you also get the uh, bonus of having the H70 core cooler itself. This is a closed loop water cooling uh, CPU cooler. So uh, it is water cooling, but it, no maintenance is required. It comes with the tubes and everything, and uh, we'll show you a little bit more on that once we get out of the box. Uh, what else did I want to show you guys here in the box? Let's take a look at, uh, that's different languages. Actually, I don't want to get too distracted here. Let's talk about compatibility, because you want to make sure that it's compatible with the socket that you're using. So we have Intel LGA 1155, 1156, 1366, and the new Sandy Bridge E2011 compatibility. Bear in mind, not compatible with socket 775. So uh, check out the other uh, closed loop CPU coolers in the Corsair Hydro Series line if you're interested in a 775 CPU cooler. For the AMD side, we have uh, compatibility, compatibility with socket AM2. AM3 and FM1, and since it's AM3 compatible, it will also be AM3 Plus compatible for those of you who are using a new bulldozer line of AMD CPUs. So, you get a Corsair Cooling uh, Solutions Guide 2010. That's some additional information about Corsair products. Uh, Corsair would like to work with you directly if you have any issues with this product, so they would like you to use that bit of information to contact them directly with any problems you might have had. Uh, we have a Corsair High Performance Hydro Cooler Installation Guide for the H70. Quick start. It folds out. It is black and white, but gives you very clear instructions for how to install this, assuming you hold it right side up, of course, on the different sockets, as well as plugging in the CPU fan, mounting the block to your CPU, and all that good stuff. Here is the H70 Core itself which we'll go over in detail in just a second. And then you get your accessories in this little pouch right here. And the included accessories are, uh, you get the mounting bolts here, and that is to mount the uh, contact plate to your CPU back plate. You get a couple brackets here for various uh, types of CPUs and whatnot. And uh, let me reference real quick so I can tell you guys exactly What's what here? So here is a quick walkthrough of the installation procedures for the H70 core. For starters, you have these back plates, and these will affix to the back of your motherboard and provide something to actually attach this to. This one here is for AMD solutions. This one here is for Intel solutions. And if you're going with 2011 socket, you actually do not need a back plate. They provide some adhesive strips there, and that's to keep the back plate secured to the back of your motherboard for easier installation. And then you have these little metal studs that fit in through there that provide threading, so you can actually use the screws to mount the uh, cold plate and this bracket here to the motherboard. You have two brackets here uh, for AMD and for Intel that coordinate with those back plates. And you have these plastic bits that fit in on either side of each little uh, arm here that provides the retention for the actual screw bolt itself. Then, of course, you have the bolts here, and uh, these here are for your LGA solutions, and these here are for your Intel or AMD solutions. Once you have the back plate on, and you've uh, mounted these little bolts, and you've attached these little plastic nubs to this little plate here, then you can use these to get an uh, initial uh, retention, so that basically it will fit like that on either side of your motherboard. Once you have that set up, you take your cold plate here, you pop this off, it does have thermal, thermal paste pre-installed. It simply slides into that little bracket there and twists to secure into place. Once that's secure, you can go ahead and tighten down these four bolts. And then you can take your radiator here and pretty much mount that to a 120 millimeter fan mount uh, at an appropriate uh, location on your case. Now if you guys are wondering what is the difference here between the H70 and say for example the older or the uh, previous versions of the uh, CPU coolers or water cooling CPU closed loop CPU coolers from uh, Corsair, 
Uh, one big thing is that it actually has a thicker radiator. Radiator here is 38 millimeters thick, and uh, just physics basically, a thicker radiator provides more surface area and more cooling. Uh, again here, no fans are included, but you can mount a 120 millimeter fan to either side. It is compatible with most 120 millimeter fans. They're recommending if you mount this to the uh, to the side of your case, for example, or the back of your case, you actually have the fans pulling air in so it gets cool air across that radiator to have the most adequate cooling possible. And then finally, uh, this group of screws right here uh, are your fan mounts, so you can actually just pass those through the four mounting points on your fans to attach them to the radiator and to your case. And lastly, you will want to power this cooler, of course. Uh, you have one three-pin fan header here that plugs into your motherboard that routes power over to the pump that's uh, actually integrated into the CPU block right here. And then you actually have a couple more leads coming off of that, so you can plug both of your 120 millimeter fans, one or both, depending on what you use for the radiator over here, directly into that to provide power to them. And that's going to wrap it up for this unboxing and overview. Once again, this has been the Corsair Hydro Series H70 Core Closed Loop CPU Liquid Cooler. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. If you enjoyed today's video, please head over to our Newegg YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.